I'm not at my normal location again, um, out visiting family for Thanksgiving. Anyway, I got this package from Steel Pennings before I left, so uh, let's go ahead and open it up, see what we got. Hey, Steel Pennings, I appreciate the package. Uh, I mailed you out uh, the one I'm sending you yesterday, so you should get it hopefully before the weekend. Go ahead and put it out. Make sure there's nothing hanging around in the box. Nope, we're all good here. I think he's learning some uh, wrapping lessons from me here. Tap it, wrap everything really tightly in packing tape. <laughs> And try not to jam that thing into my finger. Anyway, we've got a really cool looking lock. That's a interesting pattern. I like that. That is a pin by steel pinnings. It is a KW1. Real smooth. Heart, no ticks at all, hardly. Oh, and it's kick holder, too. That's real cool. Okay, let's go with this little bitty package. I bet it's a cam lock or something, be my guess, or something, I don't know. What is this? <laughs> Whoa, I got pieces falling over here. Well, they've all got little flames on them. The only thing is, I'm not really sure what they're for. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I might have seen something like this on your channel at one time, but my memories fade me, man. Maybe there's more to these somewhere. I, I have no idea. Uh, let me know if there's not. Let me know what they're for. <laughs> if I don't figure it out by the end of this video. Okay, I've got another quick set kick. It's like a five pinner, but it's got a length of a six pin. There could be one off the off the end here. And it's got a, a smiley face on it without me even looking at the tag. That tells me that it is a still penny lock and there's plenty of room for growth. Spoolie Jr. All right. And it does work pretty smooth. There's a little bit of tick in the center, but not too bad. <laughs> Get off my finger tape. There we go. All right. This one is Different and Fun by Steel Pennings. And I see the smiley face. <laughs> Love it. And that is a kind of a cool key. One, two, three, four, five pins, maybe. Maybe six. I can definitely tell that you've been in the top and epoxied it back down. <laughs> What keyway is that anyway? That's that's more of a kind of a quick set style keyway too. Okay, I got a okay a Taylor lock. Oh my goodness! Will you look how small that keyway is? I mean, here's my little bitty flathead, and it just barely fits in there. That's a uh, Taylor cabinet lock, file cabinet lock, I guess. Works good. That's kind of nifty. Okay, and I've got a 
Jet Key. Oh, God, it's another Texas gem. I've got two of these sitting in my naughty bucket right now. <laughs> well, this one doesn't have that bad of a bidding, though, so maybe it's not terrible. Um, Texas gem makes some killer locks. It doesn't really hang up at all, either. I mean, it's, it's a smooth operator. Well, it just hung up a little bit right there, but... This one is another one pinned by Steel Pennings. And this one doesn't have a name, but it's a Sergeant. Maybe it's not a challenge lock. Maybe he pinned it stock, but no, it's a challenge lock. I see, I see some magic right there on that first pin. I mean, it, it looks like a six pinner. Probably going to be a pretty tough lock to get into. It does like to hang up a little bit when I spin it right or clockwise. And he's definitely been into the top here. Awesome lock. Ah, another best with blank keys. G Keyway. All right. So. It must be pinned because the blanks won't turn it, so it's not zero bitted. So in order for me to have this one, I gotta pick it to control. Uh, G Keyway is not too bad to get into. You can go full length, top to bottom, with a fifteen thousandths pick uh, fairly easily, and not have to worry about oversetting. And thanks for sending two G Keyway uh, locks because I've got a few G Keyway bests uh, laying around that uh, need keys. Appreciate that. He's the only one I've seen that's been packing them up in little plastic bags. But what do we got here? This one is Grand Canyon. Oh, it's a potty lock. And this is a big... That's that's a heavy Euro cylinder there. It's a... Oh, the BKS. Awesome. That'll be uh, pretty interesting to get into. Um, and made by Potty uh, 314 on in August, Grand Canyon. Yeah, that'll be a, a good one to get into. Um, let's see here. What would I still need to find out what these are for? <laughs> if you could just let me know. Um. Hmm. Which lock should I try to pick on camera? I know this. That's a super super tight keyway in that little tailor. I might that might make me struggle a little. Definitely not the Texas Gym lock. Yeah, let's go with uh, the split set here. One of my homemade picks here, if I can get them out. And just pull several of these wrenches out. Hopefully this big fat one will fit. Not quite good enough. All right, so I'll just go with light tension. Little click off a of one. Little click off a of four or three, sorry. And coming back forward. Okay, I've got a nice false set going now. I believe that was off of pin four. Counter rotation, it feels like, off of pin two. Looks like I might have to help it along a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, I've still got a little bit of a false set, but not the real deep one I started with. Okay, I had to click off a of five. Feels like I'm getting a little bit of feedback off of four, but I don't trust it. Let me check these other pins. Right there. That was a nice counter rotation. We got M set. That was pin three. I got counter rotation on one. Got a click out of them. Just trying to figure out what I'm held up on now. I'm back to that real deep false set. And it feels like I'm getting a little bit of counter rotation on pin two. Okay, I think I got them. Might be getting a little bit of counter rotation off of pin five. It's so so minute. Let me check the other pins first. Actually, I'm getting a little bit more counter rotation off of one than I was off of five. Uh, even more off of two. So let me come back and check one again. Okay, I got a little click out of one. Okay, I think what I did a minute ago is I overset pin one. So I want to kind of bypass him. Okay, I think pin five needs to go up a little bit. Okay, got a little click out of him. Feedback on this is so light. Except for right there, pretty good feedback on four. Okay, I got him. This thing is just wanting to lock up on me.
Okay, I think I just got pin three to go up. And I think I might be hanging up on pin two. Um, let me go with one of my reach picks and see if I can't get behind pin one with that guy and maybe get some more feedback on pin two. Maybe not. But I did get a little bit more off a of three. Man, I am not trusting any of that feedback. I know I'm getting good feedback off of pin one, but I'm kind of worried that if I do pick pin one, then I'm going to overset them. And that's exactly what I did. And I've got a little bit of an audience behind me now, too. I am not trusting that pin one. Every time I touch him, I overset him. And I'm dropping pins like mad now. Oh, now I've got a very deep false set all of a sudden. I bet with that deep false set and all that counter rotation that I just got off a of pin too, that there is some counter milling in here.
I know this sure is taking a long time. There, I think I finally worked pin three into place. Ah, finally. God, that took, what, 13 minutes? Sorry, guys, definitely a long video tonight. Uh, but I think you can handle it. I mean, we've had long videos before. Man, that definitely felt like victory when I got that one open. Okay, now I got some shims around here somewhere. Shims, shims, shims. There they are. Still brand new in the bag. Okay, I think that one's shimmed. I've never seen that on a quick set before. Really nice serrated T pin, a lightly serrated key pin. Uh, lightly serrated with a sharp spool up top. We've got a uh, very lightly serrated and a deep serrated. Modifications to the plug include looks almost like enlargement of chamber two. It's hard to tell, but I've got threads in chambers two, four, and five. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the Bible. I am just not organized right now, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Get that shim out of the way. As West Coast Picks calls them, a shim pin. I've got a nice sharp spool in one. It's got a steel spring. Holy crap, that thing was under some pressure. And it was another nice sharp uh, dumbbell type spool with a uh, kind of a stiffer spring. I've got a serrated drunken spool. with a steel spring. I've got a deep dumbbell spool. There's the spring. And I've, ooh, this is a nice pin. It's a double spool serrated pin. I really like that pin and another steel spring. Uh, I got a couple different types of steel springs going on here, so we got some different spring tension. Um, I do see threads in chambers five, four, and two. Okay, let's zoom in, show you these real quick um, so I don't bore you guys to death. Uh, lightly serrated um, inverted T-pin. 
with a sharp, really, really sharp spool. And lightly serrated on this key pin here. And another spool. A really sharp key pin spool. And a really nice drunken spool. Uh, a serrated drunken spool. Uh, finely serrated with a dumbbell. Then a normal serrated with this sexy beast right here. That is a nice pin. Actually, I think it's upside down. It should be that way. I think. Anyway, that's what we got in this quick set lock from Steel Pinning. Steel Pinnings, thanks for the package. Thanks for that awesome lock. Everyone else, please stay safe and stay legal and like and subscribe.